Joe here in the garage. Got ourselves a backrest to put in for the rider. So uh, let's open it, see what it looks like, see what it takes to put it in. We'll just move you over here. Wrong one. That one. And then we'll move you this way. All right. Let's see what's in the box. You do have your pocket knife, right? Went to old Buddy Bezos. And said, find me a rider's backrest. My cheapest. So this is the cheapest rider's backrest on old Betty Bezos' website there is right now. We've got a little package of hardware. And what appears to be pretty much assembled backrest. So I'm guessing that's not adjustable or nothing, is it? Well, I guess we'll see how we like it. Back to the bike. So the first thing we gotta do is take the seat off. Oh, and I know on this one, I think I know on this one. It's a Phillips head screwdriver. Yours may vary. But yes, it's a Phillips head screwdriver. Take your one screw out of the back. There's just a tab up here in the front. So you will lift and slide back. And it will come right out. So how is that supposed to work if it don't come apart? I'm, I'm, help me understand. Because I don't comprehend that. Well, how do you put the seat back on? I'll bet you gotta take the back pad off to put the seat back on. So let's get a tool. I'm sure they're metric. They're that metric right there. That's the only way I see that working. <clears throat> Is the back pad's got to come off. That's the only way that would work. So let's take that off. Like I said, it came with hardware. Oh, what some of this hardware is supposed to be far white? Come with what we. I don't know. I think it's the right size hardware to fit the holes. All right, so it comes with the wrong hardware. That's nice. That's okay, I got bolts. 
Should be quarter 20. What have I got for quarter 20? I got these. Those will work. Now, good old American hardware to the rescue. All right, so we got hardware. Probably gonna need some washers. I'm sure we can use the washers that came in it, surely. I mean, come on now. Try to drop it or lose it. Now we need a American hex key Allen wrench for that. Which is that one there. So we already know I've got Shanky hardware that doesn't work. All the torque. So now, like I said, the only way this works then is you put that on there like so. Like so you got a little hole, tab. So I guess we're going to fish this through here. Well, here again, how the fuck is that supposed to work? Well, there ain't no way that would work. What the hell? Am I missing something? Uh, wait, wait. I think there's an Allen screw there. And I'm sure it's metric again. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. There's another Allen screw right here. Ain't that screwed up? Okay. All right, I'm kind of understanding this now. We're learning together, people. All right, so that tab will slide into there. Now yeah, that's weird. Bolt our seat back on. And then this slides back into the bracket.
We'll put it about there, I guess. And then somehow we have to get in here into this hole, this Allen screw, and tighten it back up. And then this goes back on. And we'll snug them up with the right one because it's metric. This one you only get a half the torque. Now there's that. Let's see what we think of it. That's about useless. I ain't nothing like want to go a mother bike. See if we can adjust that maybe some more. Because I really don't know. Yeah, we slide it forward like so. <sighs> Try that. Okay, so that's a little bit better. There you go. The install of the uh, cheapest rider's backrest on Amazon. I'd probably give it like a one star. Yeah. There you go. Later.